You making blunts? Mr. Blunt Man here? Might be made, watch. So yeah, it's marijuana. Looks like a cigar, but it's actually filled with marijuana. They call them blunts. But here's his little uh, thing. There's some smoked ones in here. Who else is in this car? You got a baby in here? No one, Frank. Come here. Sit down. Nothing. That, the dude that was here, he smells like weed. Yeah. Doesn't look like uh, anything but marijuana. Oh, there you go. There we go. Big padding. Okay. Let me ask you a question. You're on an airplane. Would you want your pilot to be smoking a joint on his way to take you to some someplace? Whether you start there or wherever you want to start, the bottom line is nobody wants to talk rationally about the drug laws because the drug laws are not based on rational decision. When, when marijuana became illegal in 1937, during those years, a lot of misinformation about marijuana. It was equated uh, to the use by Hispanic Americans and, and black musicians. There was a lot of prejudice under, under, underlying the, the uh, creation of the prohibition laws. So they're not so willing to give up the um, idea that marijuana is seriously dangerous and all the rest of it. No white people really do anything about marijuana. They associate it only with the Mexicans. And so uh, the motivation for the earliest Texas marijuana law was clear from reading the legislative records, where the proponent of the bill said on the floor of the Texas legislature, and I quote, all Mexicans are crazy, and this stuff referring to marijuana is what makes them crazy. So what we saw from state to state was it wasn't hostility to the drug, it was hostility to the newly arrived Mexican community that used it. It is a big outrage. Some teenagers in California are actually putting the high in high school. Students in the Grossmont Union High School District are openly smoking pot in class. And get this, they're getting the weed from school officials after presenting them with medical marijuana cards. How are they getting these cards, you ask? Well, it turns out that doctors in the area are readily prescribing drugs to teens for minor health problems like sleeplessness and stress. We didn't arrest 800,000 marijuana users. That's the same lie I just talked to your colleague back there about. Um, uh, we arrest people because they are usually involved with violent offenses and they're involved with things like driving while intoxicated because they have, and, and if it's an issue of possession, I would, I would again, I would, I would ask anybody here, we have a booklet if you want to see it, because this, this, this idiocy is repeated so often. Uh, that uh, uh, pe most people who go to jail for possession of marijuana, in fact, were dealers of large quantities and sentences were knocked down. Our system tries to minimize sentences because of the cost and because we, we are a society, obviously, that prizes our freedom. We think too many people are in jail. I think too many people are in jail. But the problem is the people that are in jail are there because we have too much crime, because we have too many people victimizing other people principally, most 90, 80, 90 percent of those that are in the largest cohort of state prisons are there for violent and repeat offenses. Um, again, if you find the unicorn, you find the 15-year-old with the baggie of marijuana in his hip pocket for the first time on his way to choir practice that's in jail, I'll buy you a steak dinner. Show me that unicorn. You find, you find, look, you ask the question, I get the answer.